I got feedback before I ever came to visit um, from other moms who came to visit and they told me that I was going to love it. And when I came, I absolutely loved it. Like I just knew from the first interactions, walking into the classrooms and seeing the way the students interacted and the way the teachers interacted with the students. You could tell, like it was had that family feeling, if that makes sense. If you could bottle it up, you could sell it and it would be a million dollar item. They want to make sure everybody's blossoming and, and if it's the different speed, they, they cater to it. I was most attracted to High Point Friends School because of the small class size and the feel of the uh, teaching community here and it just felt right from the moment I hit the front door. I came here when my son was in the second grade and he is now graduating high school and I started as a parent and then a sub and now a kindergarten assistant. So I've been here for the long haul. <laughs> it's a school that helps develop the whole child. We teach them how to be good people. As part of kindergartners coming into a school environment here or any place else, there's a transitional period. Probably the very first step is to get on the floor, crisscross applesauce with them, and actually get to know who they are. They're going to need to be able to feel comfortable. We're trying to help them build confidence. We're getting them to understand the importance of communicating with each other and with adults here at school. We employ um, the Orton-Gillingham approach to teaching phonics and reading. Here we go. You're right. Okay, line down the middle. Here we go. Let's try that again. W says W H says what? That's how smart my class is. <laughs> we use sight, hearing, touch, and movement to learn letters, letter sounds, how to blend those sounds into words, and therefore learn how to read. It is a multi-sensory approach that works very well with students who have learning differences, but it also meets the needs of all students at this age. I 100% make sacrifices and it is a thousand percent worth it just to see the growth and the care. You can't, you can't put a value on that, the worth and the esteem that the school and the staff instill in him and they're building him up because this is going to help create him and build him and make him the man that he's going to be. He's going to remember this experience in this place. Every kid that walks through the door is special for no other reason than they're who they are and they're celebrated for who they are. Um, it's kind of like when they come in the door in the morning, when they walk through the classroom door, I love being the one that greets them. I love being the one that gets to be like, woohoo, hello, high five, you know, how's your day? How was your night? Um, I try and do it to every single child when they, every single morning, every morning, every time they walk in, um, try to listen to what they have to say. It's just because they're little doesn't mean they don't have important things to say and some of them will tell me the same story 110 times and I will listen to it 110 times because it's obviously important to them.